As you dive deeper into using discussions, you could go beyond simply typing an academic question and perhaps embed a YouTube video or a photo that you wanted students to analyze. Discussions can be personal questions as well, and that can connect you to your students or students to each other, or they could simply be academic in nature. They can be utilized during in-person learning as an activator or a bell ringer, or in a virtual learning environment that allows students to connect with each other and reflect on course content. Some teachers do a Monday morning check-in where they can ask their students to describe their weekend in three words, or you could have them maybe do a would you rather, or just share a picture that means something to them. This is a great tool we can use to connect with our students. Discussions are also a great tool to have students share finished We video projects, infographics, or even art that they created. Students could then respond to other students' posts and learn from each other. We could create a discussion directly from the module we want to add it to, where we'll click on the plus button, go to discussions, and then click a new topic, name it, and add the item to our module. Now, another thing just to remind you of is there is a discussions tab over here in your navigation where actually they live, okay? You could delete something from a module and it still would exist over here. So another way to create this is if you wanted to pre-plan things but not give access to students, you could start your discussion here. Um, I would then want to give it a title, discussion, and this is going to maybe be uh, the sharing of our we video renaissance artists project all right once i've created my title i could continue on or if you want to kind of take it up a notch you could add an emoji so that when people view from the modules page they can see what's coming up so maybe i wanted a speech balloon Build that right to add and i could just select that and copy it and in my discussion, I could just hit the paste here. And so when we look in our modules, we're going to see that nice little balloon that kind of gives students an indicator that we are going to be doing some sort of discussion here. Uh, once you get in there, you are then going to give the details about what they should be doing. Once I've named my discussion, I can then add an image. And I have already saved in here a Mona Lisa picture. I can resize this if I wanted to, to make it smaller or larger. And then I can give the description. Once you've added all the details for your assignment, in this case, we say for this assignment, share your finished Wii video project around the question of famous Renaissance artists. I then linked to where the assignment details were of what they were supposed to do. Um, you can link any words directly by just highlighting them. And you can add up here an external link or a link to a different page within your course. Now I then explain what they should be doing. Explain with text the artist that your video describes, embed the video into your discussion, make sure your video is unlocked and able to be shared. And then I also included a link about how to do those things because just because students, we assume they know how to use technology, we wanna make sure that there are no barriers and that all students know how to take care of the task at hand. Once you're done with all the details and you formatted what you would like up here, again, we're using lots of pictures and very easy to read without large paragraphs of text. You can then scroll down to the bottom. I would click that you want to allow threaded replies. So when they reply about what's most interesting, it goes below that specific artist. You can decide whether or not you want users to post before they see replies. So do they need to post their own video before they see others? So perhaps you wanted to do that. And then going on, is this graded? Um, you can say that it is, and then you'll get more options here to be able to add different things, and you'll be able to add a rubric as well if this is a summative task. Uh, you can allow liking as well if you would like to do that. You can then assign the points to this project, whether you would like to have that viewed as letter grade or points. Uh, we want to sync that to Infinite Campus because let's say this is a summative assessment and what assignment group this is going to. 
assigning a due date like we've talked about before and available from and until. You can leave this blank or you can cause a deadline which no longer they can submit. So now we see this is due September 5th. Students can then reply and for them they can then reply with their summary of their artist and then they can then embed using this tool here to upload media. They can come from their computer, record, or in this case, because it's already created in WeVideo, grab the embed code from WeVideo. Let's just use a random video that I have here. So we're going to click the embed link over here, grab the code. And the students would then add this to their post like so and hit submit. And then their video that they created would be embedded here. They would add their one to two sentences describing their artist and hit reply. In this case, then you would have all the videos that students created about Renaissance artists in a discussion post for students to engage with, respond, and learn about other things.